Oh, yo, yo, yo. Whew. Woo, man. Ah. Oh, how y'all doing out there in uh, YouTube land? It is hot, hot, hot. I am sweating. Woo, man. It is hotter than a mother. I just had to uh, make a short video. I want to make some points, and this is something that grinds my gears. Woo! Okay. America is going through a hot streak. It's been 90, 100 some degrees for a few weeks now. It's hot. A lot of sun. Wildfires in California. Lakes, lakes are drying up. It's just hot, man. Woo! Where I live, it's a, a, a hundred, almost a hundred. Gonna be over a hundred, they expect, the next few days. Rainfall is down. It's not, hasn't been a lot of rain. It is dry. But the weeds are doing good. <laughs> How many of y'all got weeds in your yard? Weeds doing good. I, I don't know what it is about weeds. Weeds just don't have any effect. Weeds can handle the cold. Weeds can handle the, the, the heat. <laughs> I need to get some of that weed DNA. I don't need none of that African DNA. I need some of that weed DNA. But I'm going to tell you. When I was growing up. This ain't about nothing. We didn't have central air. We didn't even have electric fan. This is the best you could do. And use your hand. That's the best you could do. Now since. I grew up in rural Mississippi. And because of air conditioning. And all the modern. Wonderful. Comfortable things that make our life worthwhile we have become weaker and weaker we can't handle the heat we can't handle the cold and one day and it don't have to happen forever but one day just like they experienced in Texas uh, last year or the year before remember the power grid went down in the winter time people got cold colder than a mother and it might last longer next time. And we're we're just weak and we can't handle nothing like we used to back in the day. Now, what brings me to this video is that you have black first, pro-black, pan-African, blackity black, the melanin. Now this is what they say. This is what they tell us. Woo! <clears throat> this is what they tell us. They tell us because we have black skin, because of the melanin in our skin, they tell us that the heat and the sun is good for us. It makes us superior. It makes us superior. It makes us great. The, the melanin. Because we have melanin. The sun is a friend. Because we have melanin. The sun is a friend to us. The heat is good for us. It will kill. The bad old white man. White people can't handle the heat. Now mind you. There are Caucasian people. There are white people. Before there was air conditioning. Before there was central air. Uh, central heat. 
white people live in the desert. You can't get no more sun. You can't get no more heat than in the desert. They live in the desert. Now it's true. Because you are melanated. Because you have dark skin. It gives you more protection from the sun. But black people. Melanated people. Can still get skin cancer. You can still have a heat stroke. The sun can kill you. Having dark skin is not going to... There is no life on this planet. I don't give a damn how much dark skin you have. There is no life on this planet. They can go out in the sun and stay out there. And the sun will not kill you. There's no... There's no animal life that can handle direct sunlight like that only trees and only plants they have no choice they can't move insects get the hell out, out of, of the of the sun mice goats camels if they can they get they try to find some kind of shade so you have all these black and black black first pro black type folks <clears throat> they tell us how great we are. There's pros and cons to everything. In this life. And again. you We do. If you have melanated skin. There are advantages. But at the same time. I was looking through. Black YouTube. And, I, and since it's been. All this heat going on. I'm very sure that blackity black pan African, oh, we so black and great, and the melanin in your skin. I want to see videos where they talking about brothers and sisters. Take advantage of the sun. Take advantage of the heat. The sun is our friend. Love it. Love the sun. Love the heat. Turn black as you can. I want to see those type of I haven't seen those type of videos. If you have seen If you have seen those type of videos, please share the link. I would like to see those videos. I'm probably the only one talking like this. And right now I am I'm not in air conditioning central air. I'm not even talking in central air. This is the heat. I can guarantee you, all these people talking about, oh, the sun is a friend to black people, and the heat, and the penile gland, and all this stuff. I can guarantee, I don't know why this thing is freezing. I can guarantee you. All these blackity black pro black type folks, I guarantee you, they are in their houses, they are in their cars with air conditioning. They are not out there in the sun absorbing the power of the sun that give melanin melanated people supreme power. Well, since you are dark skinned and you melanated, go out here and get some. And this is the thing. If you light skin, if you're a light skinned black person, here's your opportunity. Go out. If you are a light skinned black person, here's your opportunity. To go out and enjoy the sun and get black, black, black as you can. Now these folks, you will not see them. They're not going to make any videos. You're not going to see them enjoying the sun. But the sun is good for melanated people. That's our friend.
That's our friend, y'all. And the reality is this. They, the light-skinned brothers and sisters, they might go out in the sun, but I can guarantee you, they do not want to be dark-skinned like me. They do not want to be dark-skinned like Rashida. That's a show. It's a lie. Now, some of them, some of them honestly would like to be black. They have actually fell in love and they have learned how to love black. But I can guarantee you, the majority do not want to be dark-skinned like myself or Rashida. And there are people who are actually more dark-skinned than myself and Rashida Strober. Shout out to Rashida Strober, the world's <coughs> first dark-skinned activist. They don't want to. It's all a lie. It's all a show. It's all Barnum and Bailey. Everything is not what it seems. I want to see these videos. Since the heat, since the power of the sun, it's so good for melanated people and the pan African and the black first and the pro black and all these blackity black type folks. They know this. Why are you sitting in your house under central air? And the reality of it is y'all are so weak and comfortable you can't handle the sun anyway. Our ancestors did not have air conditioning. They were out in the fields. My people were sharecroppers. They were out in the field when it was 100 degrees. With a strong, y'all, you act like you you haven't talked to your people at all. My mother and my aunts and my uncles were in the field wearing a straw hat and blue jeans. That's why I don't like blue jeans, cause I I I myself associate blue jeans as work clothes. Now some of y'all, some of you, us, we know blue jeans as dress clothes. Blue jeans are work clothes. Cowboys and farm hands and people that was doing real work. You needed something tough. Tough cloth to work in. Work clothes. You put on that straw hat. And you be out in those fields in the hot sun like this. From sun up to almost sundown. And I have not heard any report where, and I never heard my mother or, or grandfather or nobody tell me, wow, that's so good for the melanated skin. I feel great being out there in the hot ass sun. You got a straw hat. You try to keep yourself hydrated and you suffer because of the sun. There was no, you might get health benefits a little bit, of course, but the sun is not a friend when you're out there working hard for little or nothing. So I just wanted to make this video because all the hypocrisy, all the entertainment, these fake ass people. They're listening to this video. With the air conditioning on. They are not out there. Enjoying the benefits of the sun. Like they teach. 